these homemade au gratin potatoes are always welcomed at our dinner table. They're so simple to make and they're a great complement with any meat. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara and this is Cooking Made Simple. Here's what we're going to need. Some potatoes, I've already washed them. Salt and black pepper. A couple of onions. Well, an onion and a half right here. And some butter. So now, how much potato to make? Well, we're feeding a family of five, so the rule of thumb is two potatoes per person, especially if the potatoes are small to medium. If they're big, then one potato per person, all right? And that should give you enough to feed everybody and have leftovers. So now I've peeled them all. I'm going to wash them off. And then we're going to start slicing. So slice them kind of thick, but not too thick, all right? We don't want them to be thin like chips. And we want them to be thick that you can have some substance, but they can cook quickly. See, like this. So just go ahead and slice all of them up. Tuck your fingers in. I'm putting them in a bowl that's next to me, all right? The onion is kind of blocking it. Now, I get a lot of flack all the time for my cutting skills, especially from the chefs that watch my show. And I just laugh because you know what? I, I don't have any knife skills. I'm the first one to tell you I have no knife skills. See, I've switched out to another knife. And I think that's what, that's what makes my show so unique because the people that are watching can know that they too can do it, right? So now I'm slicing up this onion with these onions. And you can put onion powder in this dish too, but I think it makes it a bit much because the onions, the raw onions, um, already have that strong onion smell. So just slice them up and then kind of pull them apart when you're done to make sure they're, that there are no big chunks. Like this. Now the person that taught me how to make these potatoes, her name is Kathy. So in my household, these uh, potatoes are dubbed the nickname Kathy's Potatoes. The kids know exactly what I'm going to make when I say I'm going to make Kathy's Potatoes, okay? So now what we got to do is sprinkle some salt and black pepper. And be very liberal with the salt because potatoes love salt. Now grab you a big piece of foil. We'll mix it up first to make sure every piece gets coated. And put a little bit more salt. I promise you guys this is not too much. I don't know what happens with carbs like pasta and potato, but they suck in all the salt. Now what else can I put? Tell anyone I'm putting the cayenne, okay? So when Kathy showed me how to make these potatoes, she said ideally they should go on the barbecue grill. So I guess if you're doing a barbecue, you can put these on the top shelf. I don't really know. Honestly, guys, I've never cooked on a barbecue grill. Joe just always handles that for me. So I'm just dumping the onions on top. Open up this one onion that's too big right here. And then we're going to put dollops of butter. Now you can have the butter cold from the fridge and you could cut it into pieces and put it, but I just happen to have it room temperature. Put an, an equal size piece of foil on top and just kind of fold the end like this. So we're making a pouch or a pocket, all right? So you already know the potatoes are gonna steam inside this thing. Fold this edge. Let me turn it around to show you guys. Fold this edge. Now the oven is up to temperature at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to get a baking tray. Set it right on top. Now into the oven they go. And we're going to set the timer for one hour. And it would take about an hour or two on the barbecue grill, all right? So they're going to be ready when your meat's ready. So now let me check on them get them out and they're gonna be super hot be careful of the steam that's why I grab my heat safe thing here because I want to open it when it's still steaming so you guys can see the full effect be careful guys all right the steam really burns look see just beautiful and tender and delicious oh, take a look isn't that gorgeous very easy to do put it together and walk away one hour later so now, whatever Joe's making in the pressure cooker needs, how much time is left on it, Joe? 18 minutes. 18 minutes left, so when this is done, we're going to pair it together with this to eat. 
and along with this and you're gonna see these videos in sequence all right I think this first then this then this I think <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> anyways guys I'm gonna taste this as soon as it cools down all right mm. Thanks for watching The Bear Pantry Show. Don't forget to follow the page and check out my book at my Facebook store or at bearpantryshow.com. Bye now.